Hey there folks, so more than a few of you have asked me to remove the FX sounds, you know, the Pokemon sounds, the, bat the attack sounds and whatnot from my battles, you say it's distracting and whatnot, well here you're actually going to get to hear what that sounds like, because I did an upgrade on my computer last week, and it broke the sound, I couldn't record sound off my computer anymore, and I actually got it fixed, so all the other battles this week are fine, but this one I um, recorded it before I realized that it was broken, and it was a freaking 22 minute long battle, I was like, I'm not recording that again, so I'm just going with it. So, while I've been talking, my opponent is, by the way, uh, Creamy Cheese. Uh, I taunted his Trick Room setting up, whatchamacallit, Bronzong, and that's excellent, and then I do an excellent swap out. He does an excellent swap out into this stupid Blissey that's going to wall me for days. I'm going to go ahead and send out Cosmic F, knowing that the worst thing he can do is Toxic me, and I will be able to one-hit KO with a Revenge. Thanks to Technician, I don't even need him to have attacked me that turn. Um, now, obviously, he's going to do some Protect Stalling, but I'm not really afraid here. So, I actually go for the Pursuit instead of the Revenge, thinking that he'd switch out, knowing that I'm a fighting type, but instead he protected, and so now this next turn I know that he, I don't think he's going to go for the Double Protect, and at that range of health, I should be able to KO. And so here it comes, here comes the Revenge, and I'm like, down, Blissey, go away, you are dead. So the health goes down and down and down and down, and I'm so happy, and then it survives! I'm like, what the hell?! I do the calcs later on, it turns out that Revenge, uh, not boost, but boosted by Technician, but not getting its power doubled by attack, assuming that my opponent was running 252 HP, 252 defense, with a plus defense nature, it does 72 to 85 percent, so in other words, that was min damage. But it's okay, it's okay, I, you know, he's stalling me out, but I still have a few turns left, I can hopefully KO on one of these next turns, there's some wishing going on, uh, blah blah blah, and so here he goes for the wish, and I'm like, okay, at this range of health, I'm definitely gonna take him out, I mean, well, look, that's, uh, that's just about a quarter, right? So I go, uh, hit him, health goes down and down and down and he survives and I'm like are you serious how is that possible that must have been min damage there is no way around that creamy cheese if you remember uh, or if you if you saved this side of the battle I want to know how much HP your stupid blissy survived with anyway I do some switching predicting the protect he's gonna go ahead and get back pretty much all of his HP and I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go for the uh, trick here to try to at least cripple this guy yeah, so he goes for the double protect it's not actually double protect because the protect fails when I do the switch and so now he knows that I'm gonna try to trick him my choice scarf and so the switch is obvious, I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Jirachi, as he is actually goes for the Toxic, he actually stayed in, I really wish I had just, you know, not over predicted there, gone for the trick, and that would have just been awesome, but instead I've got my Jirachi out, and so now I'm going to go for some Calm Minds, now, it's true that his Bronzong completely walls me, because it's both of my moves, I really should consider switching out, uh, uh, Flash Cannon for Thunderbolt, but it's nice to have the dual stab. I don't know. Anyway, he goes ahead and uses Hypnosis, uh, and after he set up the Trick Room, and I'm really not worried because I've gotten off a Calm Mind. What's he gonna do to me? I mean, I've got max. Def um, I'm at max. I'm at full HP. I've got max defense, max HP. He uses Hidden Power. I'm thinking, okay, Hidden Power Fire still shouldn't do that much to me, and eventually I'm gonna wake up and go for the Wish. Instead, it he turned out he it turned out he missaved. I'm not sure what. The hidden power actually was, but I don't even have to go for the wish because it did absolutely nothing. His Empoleon's going to get swapped out, uh, and out comes his Conkeldur. I have no idea why he sent out his Conkeldur because he's seen that I used the I had the Psy Shock. So the Switch of Dimensions return to normal at this point, which is excellent. I go for the Psy Shock, and I'm just thinking maybe I can sweep his entire team with Jirachi. And I've gotten off enough Calm Mind Boost that if Blissey comes in, um, I'm pretty sure I can do a fair amount of damage to it with those Psy Shocks. Here I go for the Flash Cannon, just hoping to get the Spadef drop, and it does actually a decent amount. He's going to go ahead and set up the Trick Room yet again, but I'm really not afraid. I really don't think he can do anything to me, even if he carries the Earthquake. So he, he does carry the Earthquake, he is going to go ahead and use it, and I'm like, whoa, that did a lot of damage! It was a crit. So he's like, ah, you thought you could wall me for days. I'm like, I can wall you for days, unless you get two crits in a row. Even if you do get two crits in a row, I'll just recover all that health back with Wish. Actually, no, I guess two uh, two crits in a row he would have crippled me. But so he's going to go ahead and switch out into his Reun Reuniclus, and I'm going to go for the Wish this turn, 
And, you know, I'm still not seeing a problem here. I don't think there's much as Reuniclus can do to me. He does have the Burn Orb, and he is going to go for the trick, and that's not going to be great because Jirachi's not going to enjoy the residual damage. It's not going to... it's going to miss those leftovers a lot. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Flash Cannon instead of the Psy Shock because, well, you know, it's not resisted. And Reuniclus is actually some... Uh, it depends on what the Reuniclus set runs, but they don't always run more defense than special defense or more special defense than defense. So yeah, it's kind of an all-around wall, or, you know, a Trick Room Sweeper. So, out comes his uh, Blissey, and I'm just hoping that I can take it out with something. Uh, yeah, Splash Cannon's not going to cut it, and so I'm going to go for the Psy Shock, and I'm thinking I've gotten enough... Yeah, so the, so the tra uh, Twisted Dimension's return to normal, and that's great. And I'm just hoping I've gotten off enough uh, Calm Mind boost that I'll be able to take him out. I didn't want to over-predict here and go for the Calm Mind on the, you know, Predicted Protect. He's going to go ahead and draw back his party people. Going to go ahead and send his Bronzong back out. Uh, I'm not really sure what his plan was here, uh, but I'm... Yeah, I mean, obviously his R2-D2 does wall me, but I think that even with residual damage, I should be okay if I just keep wishing, assuming he doesn't get any more crits. So he just keeps on setting up that trick room. He wants this trick room up and uh, does not want it to be down. And he's really, really relying on that trick room more than anything. Although his team is really bulky, I don't even think he needs the trick room. Out comes Reuniclus yet again. I go for the Psy Shock here, and I've gotten off enough boost that at that range of health, his bubbles is dead. So basically, he'd send it out for death fodder. So that's great, and I'm back up to full HP after that wish. The burn damage is going to take a little bit, but again, I'm really not worried. So now he sends out his Swampert, and here I make a stupid mistake. I think, ah, there's nothing that Swampert can do to me. Of course it has Earthquake. What the hell is wrong with me? I go for the Psy Shock, thinking that I can probably KO. Actually, I knew it had... I knew it probably had Earthquake, but I was thinking that I could actually do more damage than that against it. But it turns out not so much. I'm going to go ahead and call back Jirachi. going to go ahead and send out Tachikoma predicting another earthquake. But he predicts my move and goes for the waterfall. And that is awful. I survived with 11 HP. And thank God I survived with 11 HP. Because had I not survived, this would have been good game pretty much right now. I go ahead and send in Cosmic F basically for death fodder. You know, it's down to such low HP that I don't think even I could even uh, stall out Blissey. So... His Swampert is going to be a huge threat, but now the Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal. I stalled him out long enough that I can send out my Jufro. He stupidly stays in. I don't want to say stupidly. He was sa he sacrifices his Swampert to my Giga Drain. I'm at full HP anyway, so it's not like it really matters. Out comes R2-D2. I'm going to go ahead and taunt because, you know, maybe he'll predict that. Maybe he won't. I don't want to take the chance. He's going to go for the Gyro Ball here. And uh, since the Trick Room is not up, he actually does not even break, get me down to my Sash, which is rather unfortunate, actually. But here, I'm uh, the reason it's unfortunate, because I, I do run minimum HP, minimum defense, minimum special defense, so that there's a, the maximum chance that I can get down to my Focus Sash and get off a uh, an Endeavor that'll take him down to 1 HP. I was not predicting the Ice Beam here. I don't know, I was actually predicting the... I remember now, I was predicting the Aqua Jet, Instead, he doesn't use Aqua Jet, and I'm, uh, Puff is almost completely taken out, so it was really bad all around. I go for the Fire Punch here, just hoping it's going to do enough damage to him. It doesn't. He gets burned, and uh, so Trick Room is back up. Uh, and I'm just hoping that now his residual damage will take out his freaking Bronzong, because I don't know what else I can really do to it. Puff is going to get called back. I'm, the only hope for Puff is that if I can manage to pass off a wish with Jirachi, Jaraball is really not going to do very much, and I'm looking at the amount of HP he ha I have left, and I'm thinking that I can probably take one Earthquake and then die to residual damage. And so here he goes for the Earthquake, and it's going to take me down to 4 HP. I survived with 4 HP, get off my wish, and I'm like, yes, Dragonite, hold on, you're about to get a whole, whole bunch of recovery here. So yeah. Jirachi's going to die to the burn, and that's, you know, it is what it is. Going to go ahead and send out Puff my Magic Dragonite, but unfortunately I've only got 44 HP and I've got to wait another turn to get that health back. So I go for the Extreme Speed, which is my only hope, and I'm just hoping that Gyroball is not going to do enough damage, but unfortunately Puff is taken out, and I've lost one of my Premier Sweepers, and his R2-D2 is still holding on there, and so I send out my HCHB, and I really wish I knew how many turns were left in the Trick Room. I really wish I'd counted, because it could have, it would have informed me as to whether to, uh, you know, 
stall him out, whether to go for the Aqua Jet, whatnot. Now, you might notice that my HCHB just used Surf. Uh, in previous iterations of my Caracosta, it has been a physical attacker. Here, it's actually running a mixed, mostly special set, because I was finding that, really, Dragonite was pretty much had the physical sweeping covered, and I needed someone to do the special sweeping. So now, he's ba his uh, Blissey is back out, and... I know he's going to protect next turn, so I'm just going to go for another Shell Smash. Uh, I'm not toxic or anything, and so I'm just thinking I'd boost my attacks, predict his protects, and make good use of the time. Instead, he actually predicts me to predict his protect and goes for the toxic, and that is going to put me on a timer, and that's not going to be good. Actually, maybe he just thinks he can wall me. So now he's back up to full HP, and I'm thinking, okay, well, hopefully I can take him out. Uh, although actually I think he's going to protect this next turn. He doesn't protect for the th another turn, so he's really out predicting me. And this is not good. In fact, I believe my opponent... So now I am at plus six on all my attacking moves, uh, all my attacking stats rather. He's going to go for the wish this turn. And so now I know he's going to protect, but I have to attack this next turn because I'm at plus six. There's nothing more I can do. So wait, he doesn't actually protect. So I don't know what kind of game he's playing. I go for the surf. I was thinking it would do more damage, that was a stupid move, had I gone for the rock slide, I probably could have KO'd. Uh, instead, eh, not so much, he's gonna get back almost all of his HP with that wish, and so now I'm thinking, okay, just uh, nothing to do but full on attacks, keep on attacking, put the pressure on, and hopefully take him out. Yeah, so I'm taking more and more damage, and I go for the rock slide here, I'm like, come on, please KO, please KO, please, 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 please. And at plus six, this is plus six, he still survives. I don't know how this is possible that that Blissey is surviving. Expect some calcs in the descri in the annotations. I want to know how that thing survived, and I didn't think to look it up before the battle. He's going to protect my stall me out, and there's nothing I can do, because if I switch out, you know, I've lost all my boosts, and yeah, it's... I really wish I had a cleric on this team, but even if I did have a cleric, it really wouldn't help me out at this point, considering Karakasa's only got 81 HP left. And I'm just, come on, Blissey, die, die, die. But her, uh, HCHB dies. And this was a less than auspicious debut for this version of my Caracosta. I go for the Endeavor here. So now my opponent's got a choice. He can protect stall me out, but I can just keep on endeavoring. I think Endeavor might not have 100% accuracy, so that's the only downside. Although I don't think he knows that. So he can go for the Wish Protect, and I can just keep on endeavoring all day long. Or I can one day predict that and go for the Taunt. Um, or he can attack me with Seismic Toss, in which case I get a free switch into um, my, you know, another Pokemon, and who will hopefully be able to take him out at that low range of health. So I go for the Endeavor yet again, and he's down to practically no HP. He's down to 10 HP, in fact, and here he goes for the Seismic Toss, and that is going to take out my Jufro. So now my only hope is that uh, after a Protect, he, he hasn't gotten off a Wish or anything, so my only hope is that after a Protect, uh, I will be able to KO with an overheat, and I'm just really hoping here, uh, he's got a, I, I don't think, this is actually his last Pokemon, so that's the one saving grace. This is his last Pokemon, and if I actually manage to KO, then this is the end of the battle. So I go for the overheat, and I win the battle, I take out his stupid, stupid Blissey, and that is good game. So great game, che Creamy Cheese, that was the closest battle I've had in a really long time.